What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a fall clothing haul. I don't know about you guys, but it has taken me a while to find cute fall clothes. I don't know what's going on with the stores and their selection that they're having. And I've kind of been noticing a few other YouTubers that I follow who I really like their like clothing hauls that they do. They've even been saying that they've been ordering stuff and it's like they just haven't been liking it. So I don't know if it's just now is not the time where the best stuff is out or something, but I've been searching for a while for things and I finally got lucky with a few stores. So these are really gonna just be fall basics. Uh, one thing about my style is I'm very, uh, I'm driven by comfort. So I love things that are, you know, I like my tops to be a little bit more looser, a little bit more flowy, but then I like to have bottoms that are form fitted and tight. Um, I'm not really one for crop tops. Um, and just, I kind of just have a more casual, I love just like jeans, a cute top, and then like a cute shoe, something like that. Uh, maybe like a baggy sweater to throw over it. So that's really more so my style. I tend to be more comfort driven. So uh, hope that that is your style too. If that is, stick around and I'll show you what I bought. So let's get started. Okay, so for this first item, and I'm sorry if I'm working with the angles here in my room, okay? So I'm really... I'm really hoping that this angle is going to be good and like capture it. Um, as a reference, I am five foot seven, all right? So hopefully this angle is good. But this is the first sweater that I picked up. I call this my grandpa sweater. I don't know why, it just gives me like very just cozy grandpa vibes from it. I got this from American Eagle. It is just a nice, let me move my hair. It is just a nice baggy, super soft cardigan. I believe it was 49, something like that, around like 50 bucks. Everything that I talk about in today's video, I'm going to be linking below in the description for you guys if you wanted to purchase it. But this is just, it's a very soft knit wool texture to it. And surprisingly, it's not itchy. A lot of the times, um, sometimes I have a lot of issues with like H&M sweaters, anything that's wool, it will make me get really itchy and I'll get like a rash on my skin from it. So I was a little hesitant with buying this, but it is just super soft, super cozy. Um, I would typically leave this unbuttoned. I would pair this with a simple white tank top like this, or if you guys have a cute white bodysuit, something like that, this is really where what I would wear that with, but it just has these nice large buttons on here, which I think just add, if you can see that, which I think just add just like a little bit of cuteness to it, just really baggy. Um, and it hits about, it hits like right under your butt. So if you did want to, I mean, you could also wear this with leggings too, probably with like a longer V-neck tee and then leggings and then either, you know, some cute booties would go with it or over the knee thigh high type of boots would be cute with this too. Okay, next up we have this kimono. This is from American Eagle as well. This is very oversized. Um, it hits... As you guys can see it hits pretty low this is something obviously I would not style it with what I'm wearing right now this is something where I would either do maybe like a you could so you could wear this wash denim with it so kind of like a lighter wash denim with it but this is something that I would pair with the thigh high heeled boots just for like a cute date night type of thing to dress it up or you could do kind of like a medium wash denim but I would definitely do like a white top uh, you could also do like a long sleeve top with this if you wanted to just wear this out and about and if you wanted to wear flat boots too I would definitely still do over the knee boots for this as well just because it is kind of oversized so, but again it's just that same knit texture super soft like it it really does feel like a blanket and it's nice and just soft and comfortable just kind of I don't know you just kind of like melt in it almost like a you want to just like cozy on up in the sweater I was showing Rush what I bought and I put this on and I was like isn't this so cute it's just so comfortable and he's like that literally looks like you just purchased a blanket and I was like well it's comfortable so we're keeping it all right next up we have this gray cardigan again from american eagle a lot of the pieces that we're talking about today are from american eagle and if you guys haven't picked up already i'm kind of allergic to colors so a lot of the clothes that i wear it's jeans you know so i'll wash jeans and then it's pretty much gray you know beige like your topes and everything and white i just always tend to gravitate towards neutral colors um just because i'm i'm so neutral nancy with things that i just love simple colors so with this cardigan it is 
a knit texture. So it's a knit, a waffle knit. I believe that's what it's called, waffle knit. So as you guys can see, it just has a very, you know, you got the pattern there and everything. It's not as soft and like blanket type feeling like the other sweaters, but this is definitely just a good basic. I really like this color scheme when you just have your simple cardigan on top, a white top underneath, and then just blue jeans with it. I uh, think like it's very cute. Cardigans are a great transition piece to have when you're going from summer to fall because you don't know what the weather's going to be like. So you can put this on as a sweater when it's cold in the morning and then at midday when it starts to get hot you can take it off. This is just a super cute simple gray cardigan oversized again from American Eagle. I would definitely recommend this. It's just a very easy basic that you can pair with pretty much just about anything. Next up, we have a, another sweater from American Eagle. I love these types of sweaters. These like just really finely knit. Let me see if I can have it focus on there. Just these really finely knit sweaters. Super lightweight. They're very thin, but they still keep you warm at the same time. I typically will wear things like this tucked in. I like to wear it a little bit more off the shoulder. If I am going into the office though, obviously we want to cover up a little more. So I'll wear it like this. Um, but I am a huge fan of the front tuck. I know some people are like no to the front tuck. I am with it with the front tuck. Seriously, I think that it just makes your outfit look so much more cuter when you have your sweaters tucked in in the front. But if you didn't want to do that, um, this is, it's a little bit more oversized again as with everything so yeah i will typically just tuck this in the front and i am definitely an off the shoulder type of girl i love sweaters i don't know i think that there's something so i love off the shoulder because i think that it's it's just a very subtle sexiness to the outfit in a sense less is more so just showing like a little bit of skin, you know, just showing like a little bit of shoulder, you know, just adds like a little bit of that sexy touch. And next up we have a, another sweater from American Eagle. I'm not really sure how I feel about this right now. Um, I'm still trying to make up my mind about it because as you can see here, it's very loose. It's very comfortable. Um, I believe that this it could be like, I think it is supposed to be a little bit more of a cropped sweater, but I'm not really a fan of the v-neck. So if you guys ever, just a quick tip, if you guys ever order something v-neck and if it's just not looking good, literally put it off your shoulder and it will make the sweater look 10 times different. Um, and there's not a lot that you can try and tuck it in with. So it's just more of like this baggier look to it. Sorry if the tag's sticking out. I haven't cut the tags off of any of this, but it's just kind of oversized. Um, it has very cute details on it though. I'm hoping that the camera, let me see if I, I hope that the camera will pick up on it, but you can just see it just has this knitted texture that goes all through it, all through the sweater. So it's one of those ones where I'm like, I think I can make it work, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Okay, next up we have this very basic cropped um, raw hem hoodie from American Eagle. This is actually, it's a sweater, it doesn't have a hood, um, but it has just a basic crew neck type of sweatshirt. Kind of like that marbly, I hope the camera will block it just has like this very, I don't know, it almost looks like a cloud to me and the sticker's still on it. One thing that I do, so I actually order this a size up. Any sweatshirts or sweaters that say that they're cropped, I don't like them because if I do my regular, which is a small or extra small, they're literally up to here. When I raise my arms up like this, you know, like my stomach's already, like the sweater's up here. So that's super uncomfortable for me. So I always like to have, you know, just like that extra room to it. So I will always size one up if something says that it is cropped. So this I got in a size medium. This is something where if you're just feeling a little bloaty, you know, you just want to have something that has extra room in it. Just you want to relax, chill out. It's very comfortable. I love where it cuts and you still, you know, your butt's out. It just has this nice, really like just soft texture to it. I'm trying to, it, almost like butter, kind of. Like you just like, oh, like it's just like you could fall asleep in it. So definitely would recommend this just as a good, basic, simple sweatshirt. But this gives me like football coach vibes, you know, because it's like with the color block, like, I don't know, or like Power Ranger vibes. I don't know, but it is really comfortable. Uh, this is from American Eagle. This is a very oversized sweatshirt. Um, so as you can see, it does hit, it does hit 
just below under the butt. So if you did want to wear this, this is a I would wear this with leggings just because it is so oversized. So pair this with leggings, put on some boots with it, you could put a vest over it, or you could just wear it as is. You know, you could wear it with denim too. Um, you do what you want to do. But yes, it's very oversized. I like how the the sleeves right here, they kind of come to like a cuff. There's like a tight elastic band. I don't like the sweatshirts that the elastic band here starts to like I don't want to say like disintegrate, but it just gets really baggy here. Do you guys know what I'm saying? And then it just like, it doesn't look good. So this is very oversized. It doesn't have a hood. So it's just a half, half zip up. Um, does have a pocket in the front. So that's always nice. This is like that weekend. Like, I just don't want to take it off. Like, I, I don't know. Like what do these colors remind you of you guys? Like literally I get football coach vibes or like Power Ranger vibes from it, but it's just so comfortable I couldn't pass on it. And last up for the sweaters, this is from American Eagle and this is from Aerie. This is very oversized, so you could tuck it if you were wearing it with jeans just to make it look a little bit more um, form fitted. But yes, this is definitely oversized. Just again, same type of body style as the last one. And the sleeves also do come to a cuff here as well. So the sleeves are a little bit tighter. Oh my gosh, for any of you guys who are familiar with American Eagles airy sweatshirts, this, it's not like your plush warm sweatshirt, but the material of this is just super soft. This is in a size small and same with the last sweatshirt that I showed too. That's also a size small. So if you did want to size, you could, I could have sized down and gotten an extra small in both this one and the previous one that I showed you. But then again, I was like, you know what, we'll just go, we'll work with the oversized fit. You could tuck it in, like I said, you could tuck it into denim, put on some boots with it. If you wanted to do leggings with this, you could. Okay, next up, I know this totally gives me mom vibes right here, but I did get this black, just light padded um, vest from Old Navy. I don't know, I've been seeing more and more people wear vests, and so I was like, are they making a comeback? Like, what's going on? So I just saw this and I thought that it would be super cute uh, to have, again, just a sweatshirt underneath, denim, knee high boots, over the knee boots, black boots, just for a cute summer, uh, not summer, a uh, cute fall going into winter outfit. If it was getting, starting to get a little colder, you could do like a scarf over it, maybe a little hat, you know, like a little beanie on there. This is in a size medium. One thing with vests too is I like to size up in vests. Same with jackets too, depending upon the jacket, because a lot of the times I wanna wear a sweatshirt and I don't like it when it bunches up in the armpit and then it pulls up your sweatshirt here. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah, this is just very basic, uh, good throw on vest. Okay, let's talk about this guy. <laughs> I've been seeing everybody wear these. Okay, it's a very large oversized teddy coat. I don't know how I'm gonna make it work yet. I think that I could do this with like, I have just one of the sweaters that I wore earlier, but I think you could do like a white top, jeans, and the boots underneath it. Um, you could do it with leggings, but I got this from Boohoo and I just wanted to try it. I was gonna step out of my comfort zone. Obviously, this is something that I would wear like around here, you know, going out or something. This isn't an, the, an office type of jacket that I would wear to go into the office when it's cold outside. So yeah, this is, Again, I like it, it's oversized. It's gonna be great for when it's cold outside just because it's very thick. I like that it's not it's not too long, so it hits just under the butt. I've seen some people wear like almost like the trench teddy coats that are super long, they come down to your knees. I think that's just a little too much. So yeah, I still have to figure out how I'm gonna make this work, but I think that I can make it work. And yeah, I mean, you need a good teddy coat. Okay, and next up we have this oversized black like plush moto jacket this is again from boohoo and i bought this because it was a different take on a moto jacket i have like the short cropped ones you know like the leather jackets and everything but this one it is fuzzy so it's just nice and soft and plush it does have a belt that comes around it um and i just thought that it was it was something different so just trying to work this into the wardrobe just kind of stepping out of my comfort zone with things the outside of it it's 
it's like a faux suede on the outside, but then on the inside, it's like a soft, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on this, but it's like a soft plushy material. So I'm like sweating standing in it right now, but when the weather gets colder, it will definitely be good. So yeah, I just thought that this was, it was different. It was oversized and it was just a, a different take on a moto jacket. So again, this, as well as the Teddy jacket that I just showed, they are both from Boohoo. So the first pair of shoes are these flats and they are a leopard print. They're not a faux, I mean, I think it's it's like a faux suede type of material, but they have a pointed toe on them. These are perfect for fall, winter, whenever. With these types of shoes, I would style a dark wash, like raw cut denim with it, and then like a white V-neck tank top tucked in. Um, and then that way, because your outfit is simple, it's like a it's allowing the shoes to pop. So I love these. Pick these up from Old Navy. Bring some band-aids though because my heels were torn up by the end of the day. Uh, so they do have a bit of a break-in period with them. And then the second pair of shoes that I got from Old Navy, they are just black faux suede um, flats as well. Except these ones, they have a rounded toe on them. These are super comfortable, great, simple shoe if you just need uh, something for the office. I typically won't wear flats like casually just like when I'm going to like the store or something I'm more of like a boots type of girl uh, But just for these are great for the office just a nice simple pair of black flats I feel like every woman needs just that simple pair of black flats in their closet Okay, and then lastly you guys are gonna laugh at me, but these are slippers and I got these from Walmart They are <laughs> they look like this. Okay, so it is pretty much the um, Birkenstock sandal just in a fuzzy slipper form. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so comfortable. I, f I feel like they were like 20 bucks or something, so they're not expensive at all. And I'm telling you, they're super comfortable. They're a little snug. Like when I first tried them on, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like these. Like, am I gonna have to return them? Um, but I got the US seven through eight. That's the size that I got for this and they just fit my feet. They're a little snug, but I feel like if you keep re-wearing them over and over again, then they are going to stretch out. So I would definitely recommend these just for some good slippers around the house. All right, everyone. So that wraps up today's fall fashion haul. I hope that you guys like the video. Again, everything that I purchased will be linked below in the description. If you guys want to check them out, uh, let me know in the comments below. Message me on Instagram. Where have you been finding cute fall clothes? Because I still want to keep building up my wardrobe and I know that I need to get more clothes. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!